Hi there, welcome back to ADSR Machine Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. So we're going to continue getting stuck into some of the new features of Machine in the next few tutorials. Kicking off today, we're going to look at side chaining in Machine, one of the big new features introduced to Machine 2.0. So first off I'm going to show you how to set up some sidechain compression and then we're going to get maybe look at some of the other sidechain options and then get a bit more creative with it so I've got this kind of drum loop and bass line set up here and if I look at the bass line pattern if you notice some of these MIDI notes are clashing with the kick drum and if I wanted to use a sidechain compressor to kind of duck those notes out of the, the way of the kick drum to create more headroom. So we can do this now with machine 2.0, we couldn't with machine one software. So and the way to set this up is on our baseline sound. So if we rename this baseline so we know what we're dealing with. Uh, we want to add a compressor. Just add a compressor in there. Uh, and then automatically with the compressor we get this sidechain input. So the machine plugins that support sidechain are the compressor, maximizer, limiter, gate and filter. So it's only those five plugins that you'll see this sidechain input appear next to it where we can set up the sidechain. So you can't add sidechaining at the master level in machines. It's only either group level or sound level. So if we want to set this sidechain compressor up we need to set the source first. So I could start off by renaming our kick drum in here, so our kick drum, uh, just just call it kick for now. Uh, go back to this bass line and this source here, drop down, can select the kick, so now it's using the sidechain input is the kick drum and we've got this level here for the sidechain input as well. And we go back to main, you can hear it docking already and then we can tweak our kind of attack and release time. Threshold. But say I know it's setting this up, we wanted to do something where I sometimes, where I set the sidechain trigger up, is to have a silent sidechain trigger and then use that to, to trigger all your kind of sidechains basically. Um, so you can shorten the tail of your sidechain trigger and sometimes you don't always want that kick drum in the trap but you just want to use that sidechain trigger. So we can set this up like this with this kick drum here. You can actually copy this sample and then paste it into this sound slot down here, sound, sound 4. And something I noticed actually was if I wanted to change this sidechain input now. So if we go back to this group, sorry, rename this kick drum. sidechain and we still want to use the MIDI notes to trigger the sidechain go back to this baseline and then the source now change this to sidechain and then what we want to do is to make that trigger silent go over to the mixer section and here we've got the output for these individual sounds so this this kick drum kind of the, the hi-hat and the clap all going to the group and then this sidechain trigger that we set up here just take the output off so now if I mute that kick you can hear that sidechain ducking uh, I mean you could actually set this up on you know a separate group and just add the sidechain trigger in there so you could have this dedicated just gr whole group which is just the sidechain trigger however you wanted to set it up but something I noticed actually was say if we unmute our drums here and just have our drum beat playing and before I had this kind of sidechain input set up if I go back to this group and I've got this is sent to, set to group as it were and I did this kind of changing the output first so the sidechain trigger here take the output off go back to our baseline and I notice that it disappears because we've now muted that sidechain trigger it now disappears as an option for a sidechain input which I find quite strange because sometimes you want a silent trigger 
and so the way to set it up was the way we had it to begin with was to make sure your sidechain trigger is being sent to the group then activate the sidechain input it reappears now we can activate it and then go back to the group and take the output off and then we know it's still kind of set up there group A1 sound 4 A1 S4 so I think that's quite weird and hopefully that's something that they'll sort out in an update because sometimes you want your sidechain triggers to be silent and it doesn't necessarily want to be the kick drum that you're using for that track so so that's the sidechain compression set up there but we can also use so the gate supports sidechaining here in machine as well so And another feature of the side chaining in Machine I noticed, which is pretty cool, was the way it's kind of the side chain input when you switch plugins over here. This stays the same, so you know, source A1, sound 4, which is what we had before. So if we take the gain down to 57, activate some side chain filtering, change this, and then go right, okay, I want to switch from the gate back to the compressor. These side chain settings stay the same. So. So that's a pretty cool feature. Another plugin that supports side chaining is the filter. Which I, I noticed actually playing around with this. It doesn't seem to have an effect on the sound unless you activate the envelope in the filter. And there's also the limiter supports side chaining, which is going to have a similar effect to kind of um, the side chain compression and the maximizer as well. So again, just kind of docking sort of effect. So side chaining is also possible with external plugins in machines. So. And one thing I noticed setting this up was I wanted to set it up with the Fab Filter Pro C. And a bit confused initially when I set this up. So if I load up the Pro C here and try and set up some kind of side chaining with this, uh, I just couldn't figure it out to begin with where I was going wrong. It didn't seem to any be any option to set up this side chain um, either on the Fab Filter. Um, or in machine software and I only figured this out from the kind of handy sort of hints and tips that you have with FabFilter is that you need to make sure when you're selecting this FabFilter Pro C to use as a sidechain that I select this one the dedicated sidechain FabFilter Pro C is FabFilter Pro C and then in brackets SC which obviously stands for sidechain and so when I select the FabFilter Pro C and then in brackets SC, I now have this sidechain input option. So, although it doesn't have that same feature when you switch plugins, if you switch to an external plugin, it doesn't doesn't seem to save the sidechain input settings. So I'm going to have to reset this sidechain, and, and of course, because I've taken the group out, it disappears. So I'm going to add that sidechain in mute this group but then what I need to do is go into FabFilter Pro C expert mode and set the sidechain to external now so and then that kind of sidechain is docking there so that's how to set it up with um, external plugin we've used FabFilter Pro C um, but yeah, you can use any kind of external plugin that supports side chaining in machine. And um, I was going to show you how to do something a bit more creative with side chaining here. So if we mute this baseline for now, and uh, let's load up a sound in this group C slot. 
um, like a kind of arpeggiated sound would work quite well. So something like that that's got quite a nice bit of sustain really. Just drag out a sustain note here, so So rather than using individual sounds, like a kick drum as a trigger, what I could do here, add a compressor, I could just take the, the output of the whole kind of drum group there, group A1, and just use that as the sidechain trigger. I could start unmuting some of these sounds. Change it from a compressor to a gate. If we mute the output of group A now, and then what we could do is, although we're using the output of this group, we could change the patterns in here maybe. which is um, just a bit more of a creative way of using side chaining um, in machines. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you've uh, found it useful and it's kind of given you some ideas about how to set up the side chaining in machine. Any questions, please get in touch and make sure you get yourself over to our machine website, machineskills.com, where we're starting to upload more tutorials, how to set up machine and just various different things, ways of using machine um, and also integrating reactor with machine. So yeah, go and check that out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.